Cotton is a witch that is addicted to a sweet known as Willow. She'll do anything to get these Willow sweets, including forcing the good fairies of the land to assist her. Quite an odd story for what is definitely a strange but great game. Cotton has a powering up system very much like the original Darius games. You have a regular shot and a bomb button to attack enemies on the ground. Various bad guys drop crystals of one of three different colours. Yellow will increase your experience gauge, basically your standard primary weapon. Red will give you a dragon shot and blue will give you a lightning shot. You can shoot these crystals midair to cycle through the colours, just like the bells in Proteus or Twinbee. Here's a shock, the X68000 port isn't RK perfect. No, not at all, it's a million times better. The graphics and audio have been given an upgrade, resulting in a much more pleasing game. The gameplay has also been altered with new enemy patterns and control tweaks. Easily the definitive version of Cotton Fantastic Night Dreams. Probably not the most expected title to appear on the Neo Geo Pocket, but a welcome one indeed. Looking pretty good for the system and sounding okay, this Neo Geo Pocket color version of Cotton isn't all that bad. Sure the levels are cut back as are the amount of enemies, but at the time this was the only way to play Cotton on the move.
Yeah, if it's everyone's favourite witch, this is Cotton. In Fantastic Night Dreams. This Japanese exclusive mobile phone version was amazing when it came out in 2004. Yeah, that's back when there was no such thing as a smartphone and Japanese phones ruled when it came to technology. Unlike now. This video footage you're watching now actually came from one of my very early shows, Retro Core Volume 32. Unfortunately, the phone that this game was originally on no longer works. I know a lot of people say, well, Engage has got real 3D stuff on and all that. But the thing is, Engage has made the game and isn't it? It's basically just a bloody console with a phone bolted on. Or a phone with a shitty console bolted on. Whereas uh, this game's made for mobile phones which aren't games machines. It's actual phones. Which just happens when Java applications. Actually, I love these little guys that come on there when you continue. Now just watch out for the hands coming up in the background when the screen goes red. It looks really nice. I also like this bit here when you kill the uh, witch woman. A heart comes out, there you go, and it explodes. And all the blood shoots up into the air and then starts raining blood. Really nice stuff. Released as part of Success's 1500 series of budget titles, it sold for, you guessed it, 1500 yen. Cotton Fantastic Night Dreams on the PlayStation is pretty much a carbon copy of the arcade game, but with graphical effects, improved soundtrack and loading times. Now this is the type of game you wouldn't expect to be released in the US, but it did actually come out in the US. So how good is the PC Engine version of Cotton for the PC Engine CD? Well, it's not bad actually. Of course the graphics have taken a hit and there's less enemies on screen, but overall it's a pretty competent port. No! <laughs> 
Take a look at all those versions of Cotton running side by side. <laughs> 